Hey, Shalom, you know, I'm the brother Batak from the Badasta camp, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation, all the brothers pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 50, and I'm gonna start at verse 33. Well, I'm gonna get to the point. You know, this is uh, it says, it says, thus said Yahweh Post. Your children of Israel and the children of Judah, the children of Judah, were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go, you know. And that's what happened in this captivity. That's what happened in the uh, in the old Egypt, man, the first Egypt, you know. We was we we was building their kingdom them up, you know, building their you know economy, if you will, you know, building up their place. They didn't want to let them let us go, man, you know. But at the same time, they was oppressing us and keeping us in the in the uh, in a stable state, you know. So we wouldn't leave, man. You know, and even if we did leave, they're gonna come and get us, man. You know, mm -hmm. Jake is held captive by his enemies, and right now in this day and time, we under the captivity of our worst enemy, the worst of the heathen, Esau, Edom, man. You know, and he refused to let our people go, and that was the message that Yahweh Bashem was trying to tell Pharaoh: mm -hmm. Let my people go so they can worship me and they can praise me. It's the same in this day and time, man. You know, I got another precept, but it's escaping me where it's at. Um, I know it's in Zechariah. Uh, another another point I wanted to make. It's a lot. I know it's at Zechariah uh, two, because you you devils also along with our captivity, us being here, you forwarded the affliction. You forwarded the affliction of our people. You know, you took you did you went over you went overboard. This is Zechariah two. In 15, I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. And that's what you are. You are at ease in America. You know, you got, you own a business, 401k. You got all this, these benefits. You know, you got workers, you know, mostly Jake working under you, man. You know, you're living good. You know, living in, in Midtown, in Atlanta, whatever the case is, walking around like you ain't did shit. But you, but you guilty, man. You know, and the, and the history shows that you're guilty. You know, you're guilty for all the bloodshed that you have did to our people. Another precept that just popped in my head, I'm gonna hold on deck real quick, brother Kishon. Because you have shed blood in this land, man. Uh, numbers, kind of, hold, number 35 and 33. You know, but this is back in Zechariah. It says, Zechariah, it's a lot. I said one, 2 and 15 is it's 1 and 15. It says, and I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. So you forwarded the affliction of our people. You did, you did too much. You went overboard, you know? This is uh, Numbers 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that said it. And who shed the Native American's blood? The trail of, trail of tears. You know, who has still shedding blood in the earth today by, by the force of the sword. That's what you devils do. You kill our people with the sword unjustifiably. Then you get paid leave, man. But everybody, nobody has a problem with it. You know, all the, you fake ass prophets, man. You creflo dollars, you, you titty fakes. All you motherfuckers gonna pay, man. And, and I pray that your congregation be the people that kill you, man. You know, because you have been falsely leading them in a way that, which is not right, man. You ain't been telling them the truth. You know? Uh, I'm not trying to make this too long, but shit. Uh, but, um, like the scripture says, man, this land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed here, but by the him that shed it. And him that shed it is Esau Edom, known in the scriptures, you know? The so-called white man, which you're not white, you're red, man. You know? And this land is not gonna be cleansed until your blood is shed. You know, and we don't want no 40 acres in the mule. We don't want none of that shit, man. You know, we want your blood, man. That's what we want, you know? And that's it. That's all that was on my spirit, you know, to get right now. So, I guess we'll wrap it up. Okay, so with that, man, I hope you brothers are edified with this quick hit. Do the spirit of how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And say, call her law Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. For allowing, give me the spirit to do this video. And I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame Yahweh Shah, and Devil to America, man.